Welcome back to the channel. Today you guys are going to be getting ready with me featuring items from the March BoxyCharm, which is a $21 monthly subscription. You're guaranteed between four to five full-size items. This month's box was valued over $110, which is an amazing value. So yeah, let's get the day started and get ready with me. So I definitely suffer from puffy eyes in the morning as well as dark under eye circles. So I'm going to be using the South Main eye gel packs which was in my box it's supposed to reduce puffiness reduce dark circles and moisturize the under eye area you leave it on for 30 minutes and i kind of just did a couple of things on the computer and then after 30 minutes took them off my eyes look depuff. starting with the face primer i'm using the smashbox photo finish foundation primer pore minimizing so that we can kind of fill in those pores i'm also going to be using two different shades of the ordinary serum foundation which i'm going to list everything in the description box but basically I use two punch two pumps of each color and just distributing it with a damp sponge I decided to apply my brows off camera using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade and then to carve out the brows I'm using two different shades of the makeup revolution conceal and define c6 is what I use to highlight and conceal as well as carve out the bottom portion of the brow c8 is what I use to carve out the top portion as well as to prime the lids as an eyeshadow primer then I just went in with the Too Faced powder to set it next in my box was the pure complexion authority eyeshadow palette which is so gorgeous it has a matte shimmer some duo chromes and i'm also using the vintage cosmetics smoky eye brush set i love how it has these three little steps with sayings on the brush handle so the first shadow i'm picking up with the flat brush is called perfect it's a matte cream color shadow which i'm sweeping all over the eye to set the uh, concealer next with a fluffy brush i'm picking up nakey this was going to be used as my transition color it's a beautiful orange shade now i'm going to spray the flat brush and i'm going in with alliance which is a beautiful kind of bronzy vintage uh, shimmer shadow just packing this all over the lid Using the step number two brush which has more of like an angled edge to it and picking up the shadow called ATL which is a gorgeous maroon shadow with some shimmer. I'm just placing this on the outer one third of the eye and then taking a clean blending brush just to blend all of the shadows together. I went back to the step number one brush which is the flat brush and sprayed it with a uh, bit of the photo finish primer water from Smashbox. Picked up a bit of charmer and I'm just applying this right onto the center of the eye I went back to ATL and just applied a bit more of that onto the outer uh, third of the eye and then here I'm taking a bit more of alliance which is that bronzy color and just fading alliance into the shade called charmer to clean up the sides of my shadow I just went back to my damp sponge and kind of created a line to clean up the edges and then I would use the step number three brush which is more of a shader picked up Nike as well as ATL and I just swept this right along my lower lash line so it balances out the eyes now I'm just gonna create my winged liner with the flower beauty liner which I have a love-hate relationship with this thing Curled my lashes and then I went in with the double decker mascara from butter London which was also included in my boxy charm this month apply generous coats to my top and bottom lashes it has more of a wet formula to it I tend to like the drier formulas but I will say though that my lashes did look a lot thicker now I'm using the profusion contour palette and I'm just mixing two different shades to kind of chisel out the cheekbones bring back some definition and warmth to the face in my opinion false lashes just amp up your look times 10 so today i'm going to use the esquito love and peace lashes which have a cotton band they're also synthetic lashes with the esquito lash glue this is part of their new line while i'm waiting for the glue to dry i'm gonna apply my blush which is also from this month's boxy charm it's from the brand pretty vulgar in the shade called prim vixen i'm just gonna apply this right onto the apples on my cheeks it's a pretty natural looking blush but it's definitely buildable then for highlight i'm going in with the milani cosmetics rose glow mixing golden quartz and rose gold together now that the glue has dried i can apply my false lashes going in with a black felt tip liner to conceal any gaps 
For the lips, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lippy in 951, one of my favorite shades, and I love how comfortable these feel. And then on top, only on the center of the bottom lip, I'm applying a bit of the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade called My Jam, which is a beautiful rose gold. Setting my makeup with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, locking it all in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm trying my best to stay away from any heat tools, so I'm just gonna let my hair air dry, but to tame any frizzies, I'm going to use a bit of the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco, which smells amazing. And yeah, I'm pretty much set now to conquer the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me featuring items from the March Boxy Charm. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out some of these videos listed here on the screen. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.